You sleep for three days like a dead man, then scare children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Excuse me? You're one more run. Thirty-one infected and only seven runners left. Amil died because of this guy? Quiet. Fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get me. I'm looking for the bu- Oh. Not lazy, you little shit. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Identity and taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisem ASAP. No! Help! Help! Somebody! What the hell? away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill... <laughs> easy, easy. It's all right now. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here in- God, come find them. I try to stay calm, okay?
Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes in alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Well done, 31. Hey, 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. They built the wall in just three days, remember? Taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. said that. You can. So. So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. It used to be a really nice town, you know? Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? 
Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad for a noob. All right, get up on that scaffold. And don't fall, because there sure as hell ain't no net. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that. Natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Huh. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. What? What's happening to me? Crane? Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Crane, talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh, shit. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm... I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. 
You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of Antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the Quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Well, what are you waiting for? Get a move on! What do you get from a zombie during the winter? Alright, they've given me an actual job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> Okay, new guy, be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. <laughs> Ugh! 
Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Ah, uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, now, where did I put that injector? Hey, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Brecken sent most of his best people to protect... Rahim, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you, for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Hey, Spike. I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Outside, working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. 
All right, I'm on it. 